Hey what's on the guys, Brad here, so today I thought I'd do a follow up to my previous Legacy Duelist Link Evolution video where I went through the card shop and talked about the places where you could find the best cards in the game and some of the archetypes in the game because I've had a lot of questions on that video asking where can I find certain card, where can I find the guard dragons, where can I find dangers, is this archetype in the game, is that card in the game or not? And so I thought why not compile all that information to a video and talk about all of the cards that are missing from the game and there's, a, uh, there's an asterisk next to that, all of them, because it's going to be impossible for me to list out every single card that's missing but I'll tell you the sets they're missing from some of the key cards from there and you'll be able to kind of go from there and look up and see exactly what's missing from this game. So first up we have match winners which does make sense Konami don't want these in the game at all and they're really nowadays only available as like world championship promo cards but things like Victory Dragon, Legendary Dragon of White and Legendary Magician of Dark things have been released in actual packs those aren't available in the game. Additionally, Shonen Jump promo cards that aren't released in Europe yet, such as Shooting Rise of Dragon, I think that's the only one actually. Um, that card isn't in the game just yet because of course it hasn't had a worldwide release in English. Similarly, the Arc 5 manga promos, they haven't been released in Europe yet either. So things like Clearwing Fast Dragon, DDD Destiny King Zero La Place, and White Aura Bahamut, those aren't in this game either. And finally, cards from the OCG that the TC actually turned into a WCS promo card, so that's things like Number 93 Utopia Kaiser, and Chaos Emperor the Dragon of Armageddon, those aren't in the game either because again, they haven't had an official worldwide release that you can actually go and buy, you have to actually kind of earn them as prize cards, so that makes sense as well. Then we have TCG exclusives that are actually missing from the game. We have three sets of cards that are missing, so first up from Subnet Horizon, we are missing Pinpoint Landing, all of the dangers, so things like Bigfoot, Nessie and Jackalope, as well as the new Gnome Knight cards such as Custin and Pernal, those are all missing as well. From Shadows in Valhalla, which was a set that was famous for getting us a super easy reprint of Ash Blossom and reprinting all the invoked stuff. We have the new Valkyrie archetype, that isn't in the game at all. As well as a ton of ninja cards like the uh, the Field Spell and the new Link Monster Ninja Grandmaster Saizo. They don't make the cut either. And finally from Soul Fusion again, the other dangers like Thunderbird, Suchinoko, those aren't in the game. As well as more Nobelite support like Morgan, Enchantress of Avalon, which someone has specifically asked me about and I couldn't find it, and now I do know that it's just not in the game entirely because it is a TCG exclusive, so that's why it's not in the game. Now we do also have OCG exclusives that released before Hidden Summers that aren't in the game either. Of course, the main one being Crystal Needle Fiber. That card is one that made the Japanese community that bought this game early so pissed off because they didn't advertise it was a TCG-based game beforehand, so people were kind of annoyed they couldn't play with Needle Fiber, which was very understandable. Then we have V-Jump promos, so things like Gandori Giga Rays, VLAN Hydra, DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell, Hope Magician and Co-Generator as well as a ton of others, those aren't in this game either. Then the Structure Deck we've been missing for a while now, Structure Deck Master Link, things like Shooting Code Talker, L Phase, Code Talker, Microcoder, Latency and a ton of others, those aren't in this game either. Then we're missing a few cards from Premium Pack 20, things like Doom Camaro Dragon and Pendulum Halt, those are missing as well, as well as anything from the Tournament Pack or Special Pack sets that Japan gets, and we don't see for ages, so uh, those are missing as well. Now, of course, I've had people actually ask about cards that came out after Hidden Summoners, so we're going to go through those real quick, talk about some of the cards and the sets that are missing from this game, starting off with the TCG because that's like my audience. So first up, from Legendary Duelist Sisters of the Rose, we have the Black Rose, Harpy Lady, Cyber Angel, Train, and Loonlight Support. Pretty much every new card from that set isn't in this game. Then the entirety of Savage Strike is missing, so that's things like more Valkyries, Salomon Great Sunlight Fall, which I know is going to affect Salomon Great players a lot. Fusion of Fire, the Guard Dragons, Rollout Savage Dragon, Cybus Quantum Dragon, all of the Neos Fusion support, which is stuff we just got in Duel Links, as well as the Time Thieves and, you know, the most meta cards right now, Pot of Extravagance and Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Those aren't in the game either, which is kind of the biggest hit, to be fair, from this set. Then, more hits to Salomon Greats. Every new card from Structure Deck Soulburner isn't in this game, so that's things like Gazelle, Spinny, Bale Lynx, and Mirage Stalio to name a few, those are missing as well. All the new archetypes from the Infinity Chasers, so that's the Infinitrax, Evil Eye and Witchcraft, those are gone as well. We just got Dual Power in the TCG which had a ton of OSG imports, so I think people were kind of hoping that some of those cards would make it into this game. Unfortunately they didn't, so that's things like the Aromage Link, Thunder Dragon Thunderstorm mech, Beat Cop from the Underworld, Cyber Dragon Nashta, which is a very, very big hit to that deck. A bunch of the 20th anniversary box cards for like Dar Magician, Neos, all the Ace Monsters, those new supports they got. The Link Frames box cards for things like Gokis, Trickstars, and Rockets, like Booster Dragon. Those aren't in this game either. Then we recently got all of the spell cards as the new structure deck for Pendulum support, so that's all the Endymion cards, 
those aren't in either, so you're gonna have to play either like Odd Eyes or uh or Pendulum Magician or Mythical Beast. Those are kind of the three decks you're gonna be playing if you want to play a pendulum deck in this game. And finally, today we actually got Dark New Storm released, so that makes tons of sense to why this isn't in the game either. But that means things like Firework Seize Dragon, Silent Mining, a Stormwood support, New Orcus Exceeds Monster, Mystic Mine, and uh, Cherubini Evil Angel of the Burning Abyss, that's actually missing as well. So that entire set is missing as well. So that's kind of what to expect from the TG side of things. Of course, there are some OG cards as well that are missing as well that actually kind of came out after Hidden Summers in their region, but before it in our region, so it's kind of weird. So of course, missing things from Rising Rampage, that's like the Marincess cards, Borrowed Exercise Dragon, Link Vrain's Pack 2 stuff, like the Black Cluster Soldier, Harpy, Dragoonity, Aliens, Trap Trick, Speedroids, a ton of new Link monsters in that set, we're missing those. All of the 20th Anniversary Kazuka Takashi art cards, new Malefic cards, and Cubic Support cards, those are missing too. Anything from Premium Pack 2019, like Dual Link Dragon, Perform Pal Crew Border, those are kind of gone. And finally, anything from Star Trek 2019, which has Deco Talker Extended, those are missing as well. Now, I did want to wrap this video off on a bit of a more of a positive light, because we could be seeing these cards, or at least some of these cards, come very soon, and we kind of have a precedent for this. So in the original Legacy of the Duelist, we actually got DLC two months out from the game being out, basically. And this worked because they had a ton of cards in the game that were actually missing from the card pool. You could actually see them in the game, you just couldn't get them at all. It was really, it was really weird. It was the perfect definition of DLC on disc already, and they were just kind of locking content out. There is nothing like that in Link Evolution, where kind of we have everything we kind of can get with this game. So I don't think we would do that, but the original game did get updated a year and a half afterwards, adding in a ton of new cards, and um, it was still like six months out of date, which this one, this game, is six months out of date, like I said it would be. Um, so it might be a while until we see DLC. However, there's one like kind of shining bit of hope I think we can have, and that's the fact that the TCG release, the English release, hasn't come out yet. You know, the game is fully translated into English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, those kind of things. It's fully playable in that language. So why isn't it out yet? Now, it could be something like, you know, they want to do a physical version for Europe that might be happening, and they want to, and that obviously takes time, so they can't release it as quickly. Or, what if Konami wanted this out in Japan for the holiday season they're currently having with Golden Week, which is like a 10-day holiday where everyone has work off and school off, and is a really big sales season for games. So clearly that would make sense they want this game out quickly and want it out now. Whereas the English side of Konami, maybe they want to wait a bit more, wait until, you know, August when potentially a new DLC or update pack could come out that adds in some of the more powerful cards we've been expecting, like Extravagance, like the Salomon Greats, like Phantasme, like a bunch of Dark Neo Storm cards, and a bunch of dual power cards, and make a bunch more decks playable. Maybe they are waiting for that. Again, that's my speculation, that's my theory, that's my hope, that's what they're doing. And then, of course, we'll get that as well with the Japanese version, that'll be updated as well. And so that that's like the best case scenario, so that we'll get it in a couple of months, we'll get an update for a couple more months worth of content, and that'll be all golden. So, um, again, if there's anything you're missing, if there's anything that wasn't too clear in this video, do let me know. Uh, if there's any cards that you want to know whether they're in or not, if you're still confused, do post it down below and ask that question, because I w I've been answering questions for the past couple of days now. It's been really fun kind of going through and talking to you guys about this game, and what you guys have been thinking about it so far. Going to have some PP videos coming later this week, or like, like to start next week, basically. Um, just waiting on getting like every card in the game before I kind of dive in and make the best decks possible that I, that I can at least. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next Legacy Duels Link Evolution video. See you then. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing.
Legacy of the Duelist on my Nintendo Switch.